Now at 5.30, hope over heroin. Tonight, former addicts will reach out to those still hooked on a killer drug. Nine on your side reporter Bryce Onslinger is here now with how people in Harrison are working to make a difference. Bryce? Yeah, Carol and Julie, almost 1,000 people died from overdosing on heroin in Ohio in 2013. That's a 41% increase from 2012, and there are few signs the crisis is slowing. But events like Hope Over Heroin are designed to help people looking to change their lives. Three, two, one, down. <laughs> Clark Martin is helping to set up tonight's Hope Over Heroin event in Harrison. The struggle was just awful. He's also a recovering heroin addict. When you're involved with the drug, you, you'll do anything to get it. Martin says his heroin addiction has cost him a lot, including a relationship with his oldest son. Imagine having the flu. If you ever had the flu virus and you would do anything in the world to take away that sickness. And all it took was just a, uh, a little piece of dope, you would do it. Martin credits his newfound faith with helping him to overcome the drug. Now he's part of the traveling team that helps to put on hope over heroin events like tonight's and this one in Newport last year. I hear it weekly family members that come in that have had somebody die. Roseanne Moore works for the City of Refuge, a recovery ministry in Harrison. She was at this Hope Over Heroin event in Hamilton and knew she wanted to bring it to her neighborhood. This is affecting everybody. There isn't a person I talk to that if it doesn't directly affect them, it's affecting a family member, a coworker, a neighbor. Everybody I talk to knows someone who is struggling with this problem. The event is designed to help those dealing with addiction. There's an area called The Village that's set up with 26 different organizations ready to help. There's just going to be a lot of what I call rubber meets the road answers. And Hope Over Heroin is a two-night event. It gets started tonight at 7 at the Harrison Community Center and continues tomorrow night. Carol?